I'm Dakin Morris, and for 27 years, I've been investigating underwater mysteries, tracking down freshwater killers in some of the most remote places on Earth. But this is something very different. Welcome to part three, the largemouth bass. Every masturbator dreams of catching a monster fish. Bass are the most common fish in the world. Don't fact check me on that. Ever since I was just a wee little lad, I have always dreamed of catching a monster bass. These fish are mysterious, plentiful, and downright fun to catch. Today, my goal is simple. Reel in a bass weighing five pounds or more. But as any masturbator knows, what seems simple often proves more challenging than expected. Let's begin. Today, we're gonna conquer this lake right here and catch at least a five pound bass, or at least that's the goal. First things first, Got to get L boat off L truck. Boat plug. Dude, imagine if I forgot this. Each day that we're going to be fishing, we are going to be trying out new baits. Today, I'm going to be using soft plastics. This is my favorite kind of fishing. I have the lake separated into four quadrants. Top left, number one. Bottom left, number two. Bottom right, number three. And top right, number four. Take your guesses, guys, where I'm going to catch this five pound bass. First thing I had to do was get this boat onto the lake. The dude I bought this from said, boy, you won't be able to horse this boat around by yourself. Little does he know, I am that guy. I'm a horse. I got the boat out. Oh, that's important. Oh, my God. And then my drone was stuck on land because I forgot my login. That's flight distance reached. What? Oh, f man. So I had to go back, get it. I'm coming. Oh, my God. And then make my way back out again. Talk about a rough start. Let's go ahead and wet our whistle. And finally, we can start to fish. As you guys know, day one means soft plastics. They are smooth, sexy, and totally slay all the bass. As the masturbator, these are my go-tos. We're gonna start off with the tried and true. These are literally my favorite. I think it's because of the pink tail. I do like the pink tail. This pond is covered in uh, lily pads and just like nasty, nasty stuff. But as far as bass habitat goes, dude, they crush it. First cast going out. Got one. Oh, we're on early, baby. First cast. We're ripping lips, brother. <laughs> Check it out, first fish of today already got the freaking largemouth bass. Most of these fish are gonna be this size in here because it's overpopulated. Beautiful fish, eh? After I caught my first fish, the fishing then went cold and I started getting the cast out trying to find my big boy. But then finally my line hit and after this one, the fish started hitting like mad. Seriously though, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> However, I would occasionally miss a few. Come at me, baby. No! <sighs> that was my fish right there, man. That was... Jesus Christ, that's why I don't catch anything. But then I got straight back to slaying bass, baby. Oh, that's pretty. Look at him. Stop him up. Oh, man. New one of choice. They're gonna be these choppers. I just like the color of them. I'm kind of sitting in this little, really mossy spot, too. So I'm gonna pull some fish out of it. I told you. Fuck. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. We got some worms called the tequila sunrise. Will this bring the, the giant in? Looking spicy, dude. I like it. I kind of like it. With the new tequila sunrise on the hook, I figured it'd be a great time to test the waters of the giant producing quadrant number two. I got the boat moved around, actually. I was trying to get some drone shots, and I ended up catching a fish. Watch this beauty of a bass come after the old pink tail here. Sometimes you just can't resist it, and this bass was no different. Honestly, felt like such a master fisherman after this shot. Mac would be proud. And so I continued to fish and fish and fish, and the tequila sunrise was really starting to piss me off. But right when I was about to give up, a bass hit me, and I was praying it would be my five pounder. It wasn't. But it did put up a good fight and made for a super sick shot. I just got two fish like really fast back to back. Did you? Yeah. Uh, no, they're like dinks. Let's go test quadrant three. Since we're moving to a new quadrant, it was time to test out a new bait. Welcome, the creature. The bait. Catch the creature of the night. Oh, dude. Hopefully a good fish here. I think it was covered in seaweed because now it's really easy. Yep, yep. All right, babies. Check it out. First fish of quadrant three, and he's a whipping. We're going to call him... Whipper. Majestic. Large mouth. Yeah. 
After day one being a nice little test run, I went back the following week seeking vengeance on this lake. It was time to try out some new strategies to bring out the big mama bass we were looking for. It's officially day two of trying to catch a monster mythical bass. Last time we fished with soft plastics, today we are gonna be hard. We're gonna go hard plastics, spinner baits, chatter baits, maybe even throw on some top water if we're feeling a little nasty. I am the master baiter. If you're feeling funky, go to dadcunts.com, pick up some apparel, and I will appreciate you forever. We're gonna fish until sunset, and then we're gonna, we have something a little extra up our sleeve at dark. This time around, getting the boat out was smooth like butter, and the spinner baits were making me feel super confident that we were gonna have some hot action early. Go over to quadrant one. Oh, that sun's bright. Fish on. Just kidding, I just got moss balls. That's embarrassing, that's false confidence, kids. I got a big one on right now, I might have to go to a smaller one. Red and white here, and I'm still running into issues. I'm gonna go weedless, and then if not, we're definitely gonna have to re-strategize this entire goddamn thing. Dude, I had one. See, I told you guys, look, it almost took my, my flag off. After that nut nibbler of a fish bite, I continued to try my luck with other spinner baits and it ended up with a big fat zero of fish. So, on to a new test. We are going to bring out the Mighty Mouse because, personally, it's my favorite. I don't have to deal with the weeds on top. With Mighty Mouse on the line, I began to cast again, hoping to summon my giant with his mousy little tail, but had zero luck. So, we moved on to something else. And I'm gonna put a worm on just so I can show that there's fish in here. I just gotta prove that there's fish still in here. First cast out with my pink tail, and I had a fish on. Don't let it get off. You saw it. And then lost it. Keep watching because I end up missing 100 fish tonight. So please, make fun of me. Quadrant 1 failed, so it was time to switch up the mojo and get to move into Quadrant 2. In the first cast to Quadrant 2 had me thinking, things might be turning around. Come on, don't do this to me. Oh, he went deep. Come on, there has to be a fish still on here. Oh no. Okay. There's a fish still here, guys. Guys, we literally caught. This is a gilly suit fish. Look at this. You see this? I told you he went deep. <laughs> and he swallowed my worm, bro. Damn you. Well, I thought I had something good here. After finally getting on the board, I wanted to try to use my microcast to try out my really small hard baits to catch a fish. Just gonna put that down and act like that didn't happen. And while that didn't work out too well, I went back to the hard baits and big pull. I put on some fire crotch type baits that I knew would bring out the baddies. I cast it out a lot and was starting to really get some hits. However, I was not setting my hook at all and missed fish. After fish, Holy shit, watch out. after fish, watch out. No. another fish on. Bloody missed it again. And I caught my cock. Yep, you saw that one. I found myself once again putting in the reps by casting my pole literally 700 times trying to catch my fish and after missing all those potential giants I finally was able to get my hook set on a lip. I have to right? Check out that for size big poppy. Yeah yeah. And then I moved to quadrant three where I began to test out the old pumpkin top water froggy. I really want to catch one on the top water so I think I'm gonna go froggy and I think the flavor that I'm gonna choose is the pumpkin. That guy right there, gnarly. The pumpkin is mighty. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yep, the pumpkin. Oh my God, wait, pumpkin, you get it again? But he popped off again. Not necessarily an ideal situation for a fish to hit. But hey, man. You know, it's just life, man. Sometimes you hit it, and sometimes you don't. You know, if we count the amount of fish I've lost, I'm gonna wait, y'all. Watch out! Whoa! Oh. 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 <sighs> Guys, I mean, we are crushing it. It's the first time fishing over in quadrant four. <laughs> so, uh, you know, is this where the behemoth lies? Well, no, the behemoth did not lieth here, my fellow friends. And the night was starting to come to a close, but I had one last thing to do. It's now starting to get dark. The sun's setting. Um, actually, we're literally about five minutes until dark. I'm gonna just hold out. I'm gonna go back to the soft plastics because I know that's probably gonna be the most consistent thing to catch a fish. The goal here is to catch our monster at dark. Honestly, just catching a fish at dark in general would be cool. The masturbator will catch his fish at dark because he is failing at everything else tonight. All right, we are <laughs> dark. Look at our pimping lights, dude. We have 
Red. Oh, sex. Oh, wait. You can go one by one. Who would have guessed that the lights attract bugs? Am I right? I honestly was so pumped about these lights, guys. And the whole goal was to catch my monster with it being dark. Full drone shot. Lights going. <sighs> and to conclude my journey. But Mother Nature said otherwise and gifted me this little dink of a bass. I didn't catch anything else for the rest of the night. And I probably got salmonella from the amount of bugs that penetrated so me. So I had to wrap this one up and look forward to day three. And well, day three means new strategy and a fun little twist. Tonight, I have a special guest. This is my Sheldon... <laughs> So this is my sister Sheldon and tonight we're gonna have a little competition as you guys know the final installment means that we can only use a bobber hook and worm thankfully that's all Sheldon knows how to fish with so let's set up the rules for the competition there are three rules to our competition rule number one you have to use a worm to catch the fish rule number two you have to land the fish in the boat for the fish to count the last stipulation of our little competition here is the loser has to end up eating a worm let's meet our contestants I'm Dakin Morris I'm gonna win because my dong is long and my fishing game is strong. What the hell is going to be my phrase? My name is Sheldon Morris and I'm going to win because I'm just going to win. <laughs> All right. The rules of the worm and bobber competition have been set and getting out on the water was a breeze. I set the timer for one hour. So let's see who can catch the most fish and who has to end up eating the worm. Can I go yet? Did you click it up? I didn't even click it up like that. Before this, she said that she could do this. Let it eat, Shell. Good hey, job. Good. What'd you do? What's wrong? I'll, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. It took literally one cast from Sheldon to break the reel. Thankfully, she had the handyman Dak in there to get it fixed and to also bait her hook. The fishing competition has officially begun. Ah! Oh, that was so manly, wasn't it? I really don't think this is going to be a competition. After Sheldon's epic failure of a cast, it was time for Daddy Diesel to get his out in the water. Little to no time, I already had him hitting. Sheldon. No. Sheldon. You're lying. Let this get do you think he sucked me off? I'm assuming he did. No, he didn't. Look, pop back up. We don't have to worry about your shell. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, he almost did, though. Oh my god, Larry, are you okay? After many failures from Sheldon and many close calls on my side, I finally was able to snag a lip and get this fishing competition started. Oh, Shell, I told you this is the spot. Oh, that's a nice bass, too, Shell. Oh, Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Look, look. <laughs> Shell, I got one on the board. How many do you have? Zero. I'm just zero. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Good job, Shell. Sheldon has the patience of a wet fart. I'll leave my bobber out there all day. She'll have one hit and she just wastes it away. Larry caught our first fish and now Gary's about to seal the deal and really extend this lead. After I caught my fish, Sheldon said it was unfair and she wanted to move to a new location. Here we are heading to quadrant number two. I'll say so far the uh, movement's been pretty minimal. Well, quadrant two was a bust, so Sheldon wanted to move back to the initial location, which is quadrant number three. Who would have thought that one fish would win it? It's just a Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god, I almost did something really cool there. I used the bug spray and didn't tell Sheldon that I did because I was hoping that the bugs would like annoy her where she wouldn't be able to cast as frequently. Now I'm just sweating and now the bugs are starting to attack me. Karma finally caught up to me with the whole bug spray idea and Sheldon was finally able to get a hit. Oh shit. No, get off the line. Get off the line, brother. No. no, it has to land in the boat, Shell. It has to land in the boat. Bam, in the boat. Dang it. What? We are now tied one to one. I really did think that I was going to have a commanding lead by now. What are you doing with your mouth? A gnat up my nose. We are officially in quadrant two. This is, this is, this is Barry Macklemore. <laughs> While Sheldon was getting stuck on the lily pads, I knew I was about to catch a fish. I casted Barry into the holy grail of Big Bass territory, and in little to no time, I had some action on old Barry. Yes! Come on, you big... Barry Macklemore, he means business. Come in, come in, get in the f***ing Oh my god. Well, just like that, guys, I uh, called I called my cast. Oh, Sheldon, the pressure's f***ing on. The pressure's on. But you know what that is? That is a dub. It's two to one right now, Shell. And I'm going three to one after this. With the pressure mounting on my sister, she continued to get stuck on lily pads, and I was just enjoying my two to one lead. Oh, that blows, Shell. No, it does fucking blow. All right, so we have time for one more spot, Shell. Are we going to move? Yes. Where are we moving? 
We're gonna go four. Four. <laughs> hey, this is your last chance. I have the lead, and Sheldon decided it was time to give it one last go in quadrant number four. Sheldon made fun of me for naming my worms, but Barry McElmore and Larry proved that they meant business today, and I think that my boy Donnie Montana is about to really fucking lay a whole new meaning to slaughtering that. Sheldon, you have a fish? Are you fucking another fucking lily pad? God damn it. This is bullshit. This would be number two. Oh, Sheldon. Sheldon. Dude. Sheldon. What that the was my up? fish. What the fuck is up, Shell? That was literally that was, my I was fish. reeling in. Hey, Shell. Fucking piss off. <laughs> oh. Tristan's not getting stuck in lily pads. She was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Tony Montana. I love you. <laughs> You're so fucking hilarious. So I'm up 3-1. Who doesn't love biscuits? So we're going to name this one Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel's a fatty. They can say I need to start naming them for good luck. So we'll see how Frank does. Straight onto a lily pad. As the final cast were tossed out and the timer started beeping, it was officially time for Sheldon to concede from our little worm competition and accept defeat. All right, Shell, so are you going to admit that you lost? Sheldon lost our fishing competition, so you know exactly what that means. It is time for her to eat the worm. I picked like the smallest worm ever. Look at this thing. It's kind of tangling itself up. See? You have to like bite it. I'm not biting it. Mac, you, are... you want to hand Shell the worm? This is so disgusting. Good job, Mac. Boink. <laughs> is, is Shell about to eat Teddy? You should have lost fish better. It's moving, bro. Yeah, I know. That's the point. Put it on your tongue, dude. You have to show him. Why are you putting it on? <laughs> it's sticking to me. Where'd it go? Oh, I see it. Oh, you, thought. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Give me a nice crunch. Swallow? Swallow? Good. 